Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today we visit Mackenzie Creamery in Hiram, where they produce world-class goat cheese. I also prepare an appetizer and side dish with goat cheese. But first, we meet the owners and animals at Frog Pond Farm. We are here at Frog Pond Farm and Dairy, and it's owned by the Coakleys, Dave and Marsha. And the farm is really your goats. Yes. That would be the majority of your animals. Correct. That would be, this, we have some chickens, uh, we do have a couple of honey beehives, but the majority of the, the farm consists of the goats. And what made you start herding and raising goats. Is that what you call it, herding? Yeah, I guess you could kind of call it herding. Um, you know, uh, when we were talking on the phone, and I told you, if you figure it out, let us know, I yes. was only like partially kidding because we really just don't know what really involved. Because you really don't look we like were, a, a, no. a goat herder to me. That's what you, everybody you don't. says. And you, you know, you, you have day jobs. We do. And then at night, you are with the goats. Correct. Yes. Yeah, so we'll do, you know, obviously we're both working 40 hours a week. Yeah. And then we'll come home and take care of the goats until about eight or nine at night. We'll eat dinner and go to bed and start all over. But why the goat? I mean, so you milk the goats. Correct, we, we and do. And how many gallons, like, you know, what's the yield every day? Uh, yield, uh, right now we're, we're only milking once a day, but at, at full capacity, we're probably doing about 10 to 12 gallons a day. And how much do you need for a batch of soap? Uh, actually 20 ounces. Wow, yeah. interesting. Look at this. It's like the magic door opens That's up. Right. Come on, and Jazzy. Who is this, Jazzy? This is Jazzy. Hey, Jazzy. You got some chin hair going on there, girl. Yeah, she's a uh, wet chin. And she knows right how to do that, huh? Yeah, well, there's grain in there, and she's all about grain. This is Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Maddie Look at that. A, she gets a little confused sometimes. There you go, girl. Come on, Sparkle. It's like they exactly go, know where to go, I love that. We're now going to make some soap. The Frog Pond Farm soap is made right here under very strict conditions, right? Absolutely, in your, yes. In your Top lab. secret. Top yes. secret. So you begin, of course, with the goat milk. Right. Now, you were telling me, uh, you know, lye has to be in almost every soap. I mean, you have to lye. Lye has to be in every soap, yes. So, but you say if you just put it in regular soap, not frozen, it burns it and turns so it brown? If, so if you can see, it's kind of shredded, yeah. frozen um, goat milk. If I just poured refrigerated milk in there and then dumped the lye in with it, it mm -hmm. would scald it and turn it dark orange. Yeah. So I'm just going to start dumping. Okay. The shea. I the like, shea. And yeah. I like the shea butter a lot because it's nice and white. This is, um, this is actually animal fat. It is pig tallow. Okay. okay. This is olive oil. Really? Okay. Yes. Rice bran, and this is actually castor oil. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. Good enough to eat. Well, I that yeah I don't know that I. <laughs> so then I actually I put it in the microwave, and I just happen to have a nicely melted. Look at this, the magic. The magic. The magic of television, okay. Isn't it fantastic? So yes. that is all of that stuff. Looks like chicken's broth. It's melted together. <laughs> we are actually gonna make lavender soap today. So I have my little canister. These are lavender buds, dried lavender buds. So I'm gonna need that. Yes, and then the coloring. This, what kind of coloring do you use? This is. That doesn't transfer. This is actually a cosmetic grade mica. I'm gonna dilute it just with a little bit of oil. Oh, it's to, a beautiful color. Mm -hmm. This is lye, mm -hmm. sodium hydroxide. 
It's poisonous, highly caustic. Do not get it on your skin. Okay, so we're just gonna dump that in there. I'm gonna um, mix this up. And this is just to speed things up because I could sit here and stir it for five minutes or I could just blend it. I'm gonna dump my oil. Oh my All gosh. Right. Okay, you're a maniac. Yeah. See how that's kind of emulsifying? Yeah. It's gonna look like a big pot of vanilla pudding. This is absolutely amazing. I mean, you want to talk about a local product. Mm -hmm. I mean, made with your goat's milk. Yes. And I mean, you've really mastered this pretty well. Farm to shower. Yes, farm to shower. Mm -hmm. Love that. <laughs> and you know, you're available online. Uh, we'll put the graphic with uh, the website and the Facebook, and then you do mm -hmm. some local trade shows and crafts. Yes, and we're available in um, some certain local retail locations as well. So, wow. Well, this was mm -hmm. really an interesting day. Well, thank you. I am really glad that uh, I came out. I mean, I really, I think this is awesome. I can't believe this is in... Campfield, Ohio. So close by. <laughs> really, I love it. This is beautiful. Thank you okay, so much. thank you. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. RNS Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at RNS Paint. Mayflower Wilm is your full service independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, farm, life, trust Mayflower Wilm. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Wilm, close by with three locations to serve you. Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Ruling Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Si hablas predominantemente español, te ayudaremos a aprender inglés. Ven a trabajar para nosotros. I don't know if we are ever going to get this segment made. <laughs> Did you know Rob drove into Youngstown and I came up to Harvard? So we had to come back to Hiram because we wanted to see Mackenzie Creamery. And now we're here and this is where they make this delicious goat cheese. Rob is big cheese, head cheese, president, whatever you want to call it. You are the man behind all this. But it's an interesting story because it started with your mom. It did, yes. And what, she wanted to become an artisan cheesemaker? Yeah, she took one cheese making class and <laughs> changed her mind. I uh, convinced her to quit her job, go back to take an advanced cheese making class. Uh, and I'll, I'll never forget the quote was, honey, I've been put on this planet to make cheese. So <laughs> as I said to you earlier, I called my siblings and said, mom's gone crazy. <laughs> We better have an intervention. Yes. <laughs> it's time. But it actually worked out. And why goat? Why did she want goat cheese? Of all the cheeses sure. that she was meant to make. Um, 
the la the opportunity in the market for one, uh, health benefits for two, two, two major drivers in, in why she decided to do that. And now she's kind of backed off and said, Bob, please take it over. She, she wants she, to enjoy life a little yeah, more. Yeah, she's, she's 72 years old now and wants, uh, wants to enjoy uh, a pseudo retirement, as we call it. Uh huh. You might be yeah. in a lot of trouble. You know, you just gave him a woman's yeah. age. On, I didn't mean on that. On television, kidding. we might have to edit that out. Do that in post. Uh, where are your recipes coming from? Uh, all the flavor development is, is still done by Jean, by my mom. I call her Jeannie Goat. Um, <laughs> my wife also has uh, a role, and and she's they're able to create flavors in their minds. Um, which sounds a little crazy. This is the honey. That is the honey. Which uh, the honey that we use comes from hives that are here on the farm. Uh, when you pulled in, they're there on the right. Uh, our friends uh, uh, Melanie and Jamie at Lazy Bee um, tend to the hives for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, you talk about a, a local terroir and local pollinators with, with what goes into the honey. So um, it, there's a it's delicious honey. If you, it really is delicious. Yeah. So at one time were the goats here. No, we, we did have goats here. Uh, they were boar goats, they were meat goats. And uh, my mom made the mistake of naming all of them. And so when they were putting, when they were getting put on the uh, slaughter wagon, uh, she said, no, these, these goats can't go. So not the right business for an animal lover like herself. So, exactly. Yeah. So where do you get your goat milk? We have uh, four <laughs> dairies, four local dairies within a 50 mile radius of the, of the creamery and we send the truck out in peak season four times a week. So the milk's never more than two, three, at the most three days old. So your mom actually began this business. She did, yes. And this was her first, her, the baby what is this vat. called? It's a vat. It's a vat pasteurizer. And what happens in here? We uh, pasteurize the milk, uh, heat it up to 145 degrees for 30 minutes, um, kills all the bacteria in the milk, and then you have to inoculate cultures into the milk, which without those bacteria, you can't make cheese. So then it goes into the bags over there on the drain cart. So we literally hook a hose up to our leak detect valve that goes onto the bottom of the vat, hooks that up, and then gravity pushes the cheese out, the, the curds and whey. Now, is this what comes out of one of your bags? Yeah, this, this is, is about the size. That's about one bag worth right there, yep which uh, is around, you know, depends, can be nine and to 12 pounds. it's the consistency you want. That's how exactly how, how we you want it, that? yeah. Yeah, well, um, I mean, we do it just by, by feel of the curd. Really? And yeah. then, and and by hand? Everything's are... packed by hand. So really? we, we weigh everything. We've got uh, two scales. And um, so my team, they've been doing this for so long, they can pick up a chunk of cheese. And, and within, down. within, a half of an ounce no to take some off or to add some and they put it on the scale they check it the next gal puts it in the cup or starts to roll it depending on what what they're doing um and then our our third team member puts it in the bag goes in the vac sealers gets sealed up and off to the shrink wrapper it goes what's your best seller um the plane yeah, actually our plane is our number one seller. And then our Sweet Fire, our Cognac Fig. I'm sorry, there's a ghost in here. There's a ghost in here. Um, Go away, ghost. Our, our plane, our Sweet Fire and Cognac Fig are all top of the charts. Uh, they, they, they what do you to, like the best? They've all been my favorite. Oh, I mean, when like we've developed children. them. Hey. Yeah, I love them all. When we've developed the flavors, I thought, oh, this is going to be our number one seller. I love this cheese. And then um, and then I have a tendency to lean towards our favorites being our best sellers because they're paying the bills. They're paying the bills. <laughs> yeah. Can you see more expansion coming? Uh, not in the near future, no. Yeah, and I enjoy being, I enjoy being the small guy that can be quick on our feet. We can answer the, the market's demands quickly, for a lot faster than the big guys can. So, um, so yeah, there's benefits to being small. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. 
My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. My basement was dreadful. Cracked concrete, chipped tiles, it was my dumping ground. Carpet, vinyl, wood, don't last. Now I have Pebble Stone, the best basement floor covering, made with natural stone and the strongest man-made binder. Pebble Stone evened out my floor. Easy to clean, resists moisture, and withstands flooding. You will love your basement. Call locally owned Pebble Stone, the best flooring system. It's not just any stone, it's Pebble Stone. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. There's a new standard in assisted living, one that combines comfort, luxury, convenience, and the highest quality expert care. Your loved ones can experience it now in Canfield's premier senior living location. The Inn at Ironwood offers fine dining and amenities such as a concierge, salon, housekeeping, and laundry services, and a truly elegant setting in Canfield. Call us for more information or visit us and take a tour. The Inn at Ironwood, Canfield's premier senior living location. Selling engagement rings never gets old. It's love. It's a huge untaking because they're going to wear that ring probably forever, but if they're not going to wear it forever, they're going to pass it down to somebody. Our rings will hold a lifetime, and we want to make sure it does. We stand by every single thing that we sell. I believe I can find the perfect ring. I really try to get them exactly what she would want. And to just be a little part of that is really, it warms your heart inside. Get real, get Kamara. He is back. That's right, Rude, the dude from the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery is open for business. Oh, so glad. Yes, Casey, first I want to thank everybody, all of our guests that have supported us over the last few weeks. Uh, it's, it's been amazing just to see the response, but yeah, we're back in effect. Patio's open, inside dining's open, we're back to full menu. We'll be supporting all of our farms again, all of our local breweries, back to our happy hours, our weekend specials. So, you know, we're following all the guidelines, the staff's excited, and it's just, we're, we're ready just to get back and keep going. Farm to table, great service, of course, a huge selection of beer and wine, and oh, I am just so glad. I yes. missed you, Reed. Yes, we are looking <laughs> forward to it. So thank you again to the community, and we're looking forward to seeing everybody. Come on out, Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Is it time to update your color style? RNS Paint will assist you with your choice of over 3,400 Benjamin Moore colors. Vibrant, durable, and easy to apply. Be current, be stylish. Shop RNS Paint. Well, today you are going to get two recipes. The common ingredient is goat cheese. One is a side dish. It's steamed beets with goat cheese. And the second one is an appetizer, and it is goat cheese truffles. They're both very easy, very few ingredients, and they really pack a lot of flavor. So first, let's start with the side dish, because that's gonna take a little bit longer. For this recipe, you'll need one pound of beets, peeled and cut into one half inch chunks. That's about three to four medium-sized beets one quarter cup of white vinegar, one teaspoon of hot paprika, kosher salt, four ounce log of goat cheese, fresh ground black pepper, one half cup of pistachios, one quarter cup peeled and deseeded diced cucumber, and extra virgin olive oil. Well, I have about an inch of water 
in the saucepan that I'm going to steam the beets. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. I am going to add the vinegar and I'm going to add the hot paprika. And I've got to tell you what a difference it makes when you use the Hungarian or Spanish hot as opposed to just normal paprika. So I put that in the water, put the steamer basket in, and then the beets. And I will put this on the stove to boil and then it will steam for about 30 to 40 minutes. Just make sure you check it every now and then to make sure that the beets are fork tender. And we'll be right back after that to prepare the rest of the dish. Well, after about 35 minutes, these were ready to go. So I threw them in this bowl just to cool them a little bit. And all I'm gonna do now is, this is very easy. I'm going to take half of this goat cheese and I'm going to break it up throughout this wonderful dish. I am going to, look at that, a little more of the hot paprika. This is just a half teaspoon. This stuff goes a long way, let me tell you. And then a tablespoon of white vinegar. Oops, spilled some on the counter. So then you don't want this to be really smooth. You want it to be a little chunky. So I'm just going to roughly, coarsely mash it and try to get all of these ingredients combined. Then what I'm gonna do is stick this in the fridge just for about 20 minutes, half hour, to let it cool a little further and then we'll finish it off and it'll be ready to serve. All right, now for the second recipe. This is goat cheese truffles. These can be made up in no time. That makes about mm, 32 to 34 little truffle balls and these are packed with flavor. For this recipe, you'll need 12 ounces of goat cheese, softened to room temperature, two teaspoons of finely chopped thyme, two teaspoons of finely chopped chives, kosher salt and fresh ground pepper to taste, four dried apricots quartered, and a quarter cup of chopped dried cherries, and three quarters cups of finely chopped pistachios. All right, this is really easy to assemble and it comes together very quickly. All I'm going to add is the chopped thyme. Now you can add other herbs to this, but I think the chives add a little bit of that onion flavor and thyme just adds a warmth to it and I think it works really well with the goat cheese. But if you, you know, want the rosemary, I think it might be a little overpowering, but whatever herbs you have in your garden, I'm sure would work well. I'm going to add a little bit of salt because you can't ever have enough salt, right? Always adds a little bit of flavor. And then some fresh ground black pepper. And now it is really, you got to use your hands. So now we're going right in the bowl and I am going to thoroughly mix the herbs. So I'm going to take half of the goat cheese, all right? And I am going to set that aside. Then what I'm gonna do is take just a little bit. You just make a little ball, okay? And then I'm gonna use my thumb or your finger and I'm gonna stick in a little divot and I'm going to take a piece of the apricot. See, bury it in there, little treasure. Now, for the cherries, you could probably use dried cranberries also, but I like the sour tartness of the cherries, and I've chopped these up. And you make your little one-inch ball with the cherries in it. So I'll get rolling, and I'll make all of our little goat cheese truffles, and then we'll roll them in the crushed pistachios and we'll chill them and we've got hors d'oeuvres. So it's chilled, our truffles have chilled and now I'm just going to finish this off. It's better when it chills. So now the cheese has also chilled 
And all you want to do is crumble it and drop it randomly. Ma, if you want, why don't you sprinkle the um, little cucumbers. cucumbers? That adds a nice freshness to it. I must cucumbers. say, this was Ken's suggestion. Yes. The cucumbers. And then, pistachios. Mm, mm, mm. Just a little drizzle with some olive oil. I don't really think it needs salt and pepper at this point because there's a lot going on because of the paprika that was added earlier. Mm. But you can always pass that at the table. So here, yes, right. I'll give you a little scoop. So, take a bite. Let me tell me what you think. Mmm. I don't mm. Cherry. Apricot. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Very good. And I think for something like this, a nice rosé sparkling, Bola from Italy makes really, really nice. It's not a super dry sparkling rosé. It's delicious. Oh. It's really good for, you know, cheeses and things like that. Mmm. I mean, it's delicious. I can't wait to taste this. Mmm. Oh, delicious. Mmm. That is amazing. Go to my website. You'll get goat cheesed out. And look for the goat cheese truffles and the steamed beets with goat cheese. Be right there at CaseyMaloneShow.com. Cheers, Mommy. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.